Good evening. It's about 7, 7.30 Texas time. I'm not really paying attention. There's some lightning off to the east, southeast, but it looks like it's going to slide right past us. Uh, sorry, my lips ain't really working right. Let me get that. You know, I watched Cardi B, whose teleprompter went off after they showed a clip of her saying she's never going to endorse any president again. Then Camel Toe asked to go after her. I'm sure y'all probably already seen it somewhere. Then after a couple of minutes, then a woman finally comes up on stage and hands her a cell phone with a speech written for her that she couldn't string together a sentence in favor of Camel Toe. And as she began to read it off, she couldn't even memorize three or four words at a time and was stumbling. That's your typical camel toe voter right there. She couldn't even read a simple speech that was written for her, maybe because there wasn't any foul language in it. I don't think she's even black, is she? Isn't she Latina or something, Portuguese, or I don't know. I know she's from Houston. Anyway, it's less than 12 hours now to the polls open. Tomorrow will be a great moment in American history where we yank ourselves back from right from the edge. This isn't going to be a long video. I've already wasted two minutes of your time. One of the things I was thinking about just before I turned the camera on is in this past 13 or more months about how many people have watched me solely to hate on me. And now one person has done his best for 13 months to try to completely, to the best I know, not that I give him any attention, but he loves me to talk about him. He follows me all around. You can follow YouTube comments, as you may well know if you have a PC. And it just amazes me that that's actually, that's really characteristic of the people that we have running this country right now is that they're just full of hate. That's really all they got going for them is they're most hateful people I've ever seen. They're really just disgusting now I feel like a cup of hot tea after I put everything away yeah it's you know when I don't like somebody I just tune them out I don't watch there's a little flash of light in the background it looks like it's going to all bypass us, as usual. Uh, I've gotten to where lately I've actually taken a dislike to Jimmy Cagney. But Jimmy Cagney movie comes up, I just right on past it. I've seen about all the Jimmy Cagney I want to watch. I'm just... They just came up with one. It was... And people are already were going, nope, not so good. Uh, it was a uh, time of your life. Or, yeah. I think that was based on like the 50s TV show or whatever it was. And I didn't even watch it. It was it appeared to be a hodgepodge of movie stars. And actually, I haven't been able. The last movie I watched was absolutely horrible Frank Langella and the caller I think the only thing that kept my attention was the music was you know the score was pretty was the only thing that kind of held my interest is careful tinkling of piano and stuff and, but otherwise it's a completely lackluster no dialogue having movie 
with a terrible ending. Anyway, that's about really all I wanted to say is, you know, I want to say hello to all my haters. Thank you for wasting all your time and making me number one in Pflugerville in total watch hours. I'm way ahead of Ty Nguyen. I hear a flat tire. Maybe not. Anyway, that last batch of rice, instead of sweetening it this time, I just ate it. And still the coconut oil is just makes rice delicious. Oh, that's a wind blowing along some plastic cup. And I just looked on the, I was checking the weather and they said last year on this day, it was 81 degrees here. No, it wasn't. Absolutely not, it was not 81 degrees. It got up to about 83 today, but tonight it'll be down in the 60s. Uh, it'll be a little cooler tomorrow. Remember, vote for Trump. Get out, do your part. Not much. Let me kill this.